So welcome back to part three. Uh, we are currently playing the back nine of the point at Polseth in Cornwall. Yeah. Smithy, the man from Devon, is well in the lead. Yeah. He is uh, two up with three to play. Uh, if you watched the last video, it all went a bit to pieces in the end. <laughs> Uh, but I did actually make one hole back. He was three up after the first video, so I'm scraping back slowly. Indeed. This is a, another of those tricky little short par threes. There was another one in the first series yeah. of videos we did. Mm. Really nasty little par three holes. This is about how many yards, did we say? 109 yards. 109. Downhill, so. I'm going to stick this monopod up in the air and see if you can see mm. where we are going. So, kind of there. I think Jeff might see that. Yeah. Wonders of a six foot extension. Oh, I don't know. Right, okay. So, Smithy still has the honour. Great, so I'm going with a little gap wedge. That could be very good. Fortunately, I can't tell you because I can't see, but I've got a feeling that's on the green. It was bounced short, I think, but it's down there ish. It's all you know, downhill. It's, ooh, yeah, all downhill. A bit like my game, more downhill <laughs> from my arm. I'll be going for 50 as well. I was 52, going for 50, I think. Problem is, I've been shanking quite a lot of balls today, so this could go anywhere. It's in fixed stuff, but it's still going down the hill. Yep. So we've got to find it. Indeed. But so there are ladders here. Uh, we'll soon find out. We'll soon find out. <laughs> Smithy is on the green. That's the good thing. I am. I'm not. You're not. But just a little trickle down there, really. Oh, sit. That was a very good shot. Blimey, me for me, that's well. Uh, what can I say? Very good. Thank you. Nice, so oh, he's just pacing out his putt. I've just come up just to the back of the green my first. That's about 25 feet, something like that. About 25 feet. And you're probably pretty similar. Yeah, With yeah, on the angle. The stripes ball, I have to say. Very cool, very nice uh, donation by Oggy. I'm very thankful for the uh, <laughs> Callaway Chrome Soft. Don't never be played. Yeah, never Callaway played Callaway Chrome Soft, don't be thankful. Very good putt. Yeah. Put the flag out for you. Thank you. Not that much. I'll move it if you want. That's right. It's only a little bit. Okay, Smithy with his second shot. It's horrible. Oh. Horrible, Smithy. What I happened? Didn't, I didn't play to the fact that this was sloping away here. So, so this for play your third. Much better. Your putting's been really solid today, so that was just an unfortunate oh. incident. Pick those up, mate. Hang on, hang on. Nice yeah, pick up. What was it? It's close enough. So, Smithy was very generous there and let me have that shot. Uh, so, we're level on that hole. We have two more shot, two more holes to play. Smithy is two up. So it's gone dormy. Dormy two. Okay, so this is hole 17. It's a par of five. I'm not sure of the yardage. Did you get the yardage? About uh, 460, 470. 460, it's a fair way up being a par 5. Uh, Smithy's got the driver out. There is bunkers on right to left. And it's a bit of a kind of sweet round from right to left. That's okay if it avoids that bunker. I don't know. Did it? Just yeah, it's still just, just over the hill. Okay. It's just above the bunker and then left. Fair enough. Well done. Should be all right. We go in the driver as well. It's also starting to rain. Yeah, it's just like spitting. All weathers again. Yes. 
That'll work. Go. Yeah, that's okay. That's got on. Shot. Oh. Lovely, just in front of the bunkers. Good shot. Thank you. So, John, the point at poles F. The point at poles F. What okay. do you think? Uh, yeah, I really like it. I have to say, I think the, in all honesty, the front nine is better than the back nine. The back nine is a little bit quirky. Yeah. Um, but there's nothing wrong with that, uh, and it's just because we haven't played the course before that we don't need, you know, know all the tricks of it. Um, I'm really looking forward to coming back again. They've been really good to us in saying that they want us to come back whenever we like, really. So um, we just stop in the buggy now. We just take quite good drives on this hole. Um, so. We're going to come back and, and play it again. Uh, now we kind of know the course more. Yeah. Um, I think we can show it off even better because yeah. we kind of understand that some of the shots we were hitting were just never designed for the course that it is. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and there are some really crazy holes here, um, but in a lovely way. I mean, in a lovely way. Uh, the conditions of the course are excellent, considering the fact we've had six or seven weeks of really you know, strong sunlight and, and hot weather. Uh, the condition of the course is really good. Uh, greens are impeccable. And I said the staff here and everything are, are brilliant, so we'll definitely be coming back again. Anything else to say? No. I've well, said it all. We'll just show you the last couple of holes. And hopefully, I might win one of them. Okay, we'll see. carry on. Lovely, so just coming up to John's uh, second shot here from his driver. Smith is about another 40 yards up. Yeah. Um, like we just said in the buggy, this part of the course is quite quirky and we're still trying to work out our way around it. Um, so we're pretty sure we go straight up and it kind of kinks down again. So we can't see the green or anything. Um, we just know it's up yeah. there somewhere. We're just at them little trees, thin trees, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Oh, sick. I think I might do nasty stuff, but have a look. Yeah. Okay, so I'm taking a drop because uh, it's starting to rain and we really want to get the course finished before it absolutely throws down, which yep. is rumoured to happen soon. Uh, so I'm down in the dump somewhere. I'm not going to find that again. I'm going to hit a six iron and hope I get somewhere near, but this is Smith's hole. Just around that to the left hand side of the hole. Comes around, that could be good. Get up, 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 up. Oh, just leave that uh, little bank. On the bank, it could be in the brook. So like I said, the competition kind of ended when I went in the nasty stuff on the left-hand side. We're going to try and just get Smithy to chip this onto the green to show you, obviously, where the green is and everything. And then we'll play the last hole before the storm comes. Very good, nice and safe. Well on the green, well done. Okay, so Smithy wins the kind of competition, but we will play the 18th, hopefully, uh, before it rains too much on us. Wind is strength strengthening, I think. It is, yeah. Gained quite a, a good tougher. force now. So we're going to get under cover as quick as we can, but let's try and do the 18th just to show you it, and we'll come back again Indeed, on yeah. a better day, and we'll play it again. Nice. Smithy thought he'd have a little putt, so whilst I'm up here collecting my ball, I'm just watching. Have a little practice. It'll work quick, but doesn't matter. Okay, so Smithy has the honour as he is the uh, technical winner, or no, no, actually he's the winner, technical or untechnical. Uh, he's Great played time. really well today, apart from a couple of holes where he just, just went absolutely to pot. Yeah. Um, he's played fan, some fantastic golf, and I hope you've appreciated it, to be honest, because I have. Well, John, say the, the, definitely the start was a little bit easier for you, wasn't it? You definitely had a, a bit of an easier start to today. Yeah, I um, think for some reason I just kind of felt under pressure in the middle, and I don't know why everything started going yeah. wrong, and I think that's part of the problem of like, you know, high handicappers, they can't get out of their head. When it's, yeah. when it's gone, it's One gone. One bad hole becomes a bad, rat, bad nine holes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that's the thing. When it was flowing, it was doing okay. And then suddenly something went wrong. I don't know what it was. So I kept trying to fix it. Yeah. It's never going to happen. So we're just letting these people play out a little bit further. Um, we've got plenty of time. People behind us have slowed down a little bit. We're just going to show you the 18th pole just for fun. Like I said, uh, there's definitely uh, some heavy rain and stuff coming in this evening. Grey clouds are building, wind is getting stronger, but we made pretty good time. Yeah. Considering the fact we've been filming a four hour round, 
with cameras, that's better than most people been wandering around today in front of us. So, you know, sometimes ready golf is good golf. Okay. Okay. Off you go, mate. I don't think that was a different replacement, was it? I don't think so, no. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you had zoom in for that. We may go and find it in a minute and see what I'm happens. Like, I'm going to go and bring it to him in the bar. This yeah. is something you didn't replace. <laughs> oh dear. Sit down. Good shot, sit it down a bit. Go into those. Oh, it's gone on the hedges. No, it bounced out, I think. Think? Okay. By the white post. He's got so much better eyesight than I have when it goes yeah. to a certain distance. I'm completely blind after that. These glasses are pretty chunky, mate. So I think it bounced out by that white mark post up on the left hand side. Terrible drive, but. I've still got your lucky tee. I don't know yeah. if you give me that's luck, but it's <laughs> given you a lot of luck. Yeah. Another scutter up the road again. That's right, straight. He's alright, straight. Fine. So the Oggy, second is going to pump a, pump an iron up there. It's a lovely vantage. Mm. The uh, ninth hole and the eighteenth hole both finished by the clubhouse. Yeah. Uh, and what a clubhouse! Indeed, it's assume. A hotel complex and so many facilities here. Lovely shot, John. Oh, Coming right, over I'm in the wind, but all day. nice, good shot. Still on the green anyway. Yeah. So whilst the people are still on the green, uh, Smith has got a good chance to get this to the green. Um, I'd just like to explain, as I explained to Smith earlier, when we were driving down some incredibly tight lanes with my car, uh, that you've got to be careful about Cornwall because Cornwall have a lot of hedges, and you think, well, that's fine, you can get in close. But actually, like this hedge, <laughs> it's actually a massive, big stone wall. Mm. So. Smith's ball hit the hedge for a wall yeah. and bounced out again. At least you get to find the ball. So what a fantastic ending to this course because it's just beautiful location. Very nice, got to admit, very, very lovely. That's okay, let's get it up there. A little bit heavy. Yeah, a bit heavy, but there's nothing wrong with that. Oggy coming up to his uh, third shot. Plugs, honestly. It's very windy, um, so he's just got a, about 60 yards, he's going to hit a little wedge, a little gap wedge in there. Just a little bit to the right. It's going to be just short there. of the green. I'm kind of getting there. Oh no. <laughs> are we on? Yes, we are. Well, let's go with the gap wedge. Just a little gap wedge to finish off. That could be very good. You know, some of your little put pitches and chips today, still don't know which is which. Fantastic well, today, really good, well done. Thank you, mate. So, Smith's pitch was so good, I should really give it to him. But, if you watch the Emerald Park videos, you'll know that he doesn't like to just be given the hole at the end of the 18th, so he's going to want to put it out and finish. Probably just going with a little wedge here. Get on the green. Do you? Oh, yeah, that's pretty good enough. for me. I'm improving slowly on the pitching, I have to say. Right, I've got a bit of a tricky downhill, I think. Yeah, quite a quick one. Just touched oh. it. Just touched it. That's how fast they are. Crazy. I'm going to finish off so that Smithy can finish properly. Nice finish. Oh. Right. Let Smithy do his thing. Shall we? Uh, shall we get the backdrop of the location for you at the same time? Go on then. It's gonna be in the way of your camera a little bit. Sorry. There you go. Oh, what a finish! What a finish! Oh. And what a place. Cheers.
Cheers, John. Good day, mate. Thank you very much. Thanks, bud. Really Good weather enjoyable. again. Okay, the wind is really kicking in now, so I hope you can hear this. We are in the buggy for a bit of protection. Uh, lovely clubhouse and facilities behind us. Spiffy played a blinder today. Uh, what can I say? Well, the point at Poles F, uh, like I said, a few years ago, uh, this was just not the place to come. Uh, it virtually just fallen apart. But they've had new owners, they've invested an awful lot of money in the place, they've gone from one part-time greenkeeper to I think a team of six or seven now. Greens are immaculate. The course is becoming quirky in places, but in a good way. Uh, but it's an excellent course, well worth playing. Kind of course you need to play once or twice, and I think we've realized that. Mm. Uh, but there's also some other things being built here that are going to make it even more tricky. Like I said, lots of brooks that seem to be being plumbed in, so there's going to be more water here as well. Uh, certainly, if you get a chance to come down here, like I said, it's near Rock, so it's near the well-known St. Anadoc. If you're in this area and you want a really challenging course, really good facilities, they've got tennis, they've got a swimming pool, I think, half spa, two restaurants, good practice areas as well, and lovely people. So come and play them both. You know, no reason why you can't come play Santa Dock one day and come play here for another day. Even stay here, yeah. play here, and then maybe go to Santa Dock and play as well. So, thank you very much to the point at Poles F. We really look forward to coming back again. Smithy, anything you want to add to all that? Uh, yeah, just, uh, I can't say exactly the same, really. Um, really enjoyable day, great golf course. Some of the best greens I've probably played this summer. Yeah, def um, which, definitely some of the best which greens. Which really surprised me. Um, but yeah, very good. Really looking forward to coming back again the guys ever so helpful and the green keepers really really informative as well so look forward to coming back so yep uh, that's the end there's a beautiful view out there at the moment but you can't see it because the grey clouds are coming in yeah. quite quick so we're going to come down here on a lovely day with less wind and play it again for you but thanks very much for watching please subscribe to smithy here golf big oggy golf and tell your friends bye for now bye uh, brilliant okay.